Long March to Freedom Unveiling South Africa's Epic Journey to Democracy The name of this exhibition is Long March to Freedom, where we decided like, to display the liberation icons from 1600 until 1994. It's not only South Africans, but international as well, who contributed on our liberty. We have I mean, uh, people like Dr. Martin Luther King, who was I mean, featured here in our exhibition, Fidel Castro from Cuba, Julius Nyerere from Tanganyika, which is now Tanzania, and so forth. So we currently have 101 stages. That will grow to 500 stages over time, honoring people who passed on. Starting from the back, is the very first people here in South Africa, which is indigenous one, Khoi and the Sen. Chief and kings, warriors, they are that side. So that's Eres colonization. Hello, and welcome to a truly extraordinary experience. Today, we invite you to join us as we explore Long March to Freedom, an unparalleled heritage tourism attraction that tells the remarkable story of South Africa's 350 years journey to freedom and democracy. Imagine a place where history comes alive in bronze, where 100 life-size sculptures pay homage to South Africa's brightest and bravest heroes. These are icons who played a pivotal role in shaping the destiny of a nation. At the core of every meaningful tourism experience are values like integrity, depth, culture and heritage. South Africa's rich culture and political heritage is among the nation's most cherished assets. The struggle for freedom wasn't just a national cause, it was a moral beacon for the world to see. A solidarity movement to resonate throughout the entire 20th century. It falls upon our generation, the custodians of this memory, to ensure that the efforts of the countless freedom fighters are never forgotten. It's our duty to pass on the story of our journey to democracy and the sacrifices that paved the way for the society we treasure today. People who visit South Africa often admire our breathtaking landscapes and the pristine beaches but many yearn to understand our nation's soul, to truly comprehend our journey to freedom. We believe the long march to freedom is the answer to their quest. It is a narrative that unfolds throughout the lives of those who never tasted freedom themselves, but ensure it was for us and our generations to come. We 
envision a future where long march to freedom becomes a must-see destination for international travelers, a place where South Africans return time and time again, revealing and humbled by this powerful statement of our national pride. As we embark on this inspiring and uplifting journey together, we wish you a profound experience, one that deepens your appreciation for the struggles and triumphs that defined South Africa. Welcome to the Long March to Freedom. We also have, I mean, people like Dr. Martin Luther King from America, since we don't honor only South Africans, but international as well. So here we are at apartheid era that became in power in 1948. We also have people like Bran Fischer, Joe Slovo, Bayes Nodia, Ahmed Kathrada. During apartheid regime, people who fought during tough time. The last day, the last line there is Nelson Mandela, Walter Sisulu and O.R. Tambo. That era is towards new democracy. So our procession starts from 1600 until 1994. This exhibition is spinning 350 people I mean, struggling for the liberation. Thank you for joining us on an incredible adventure. If you enjoy this video, don't forget to like, subscribe and hit that notification bell so you will never miss an update. Until next time, remember that history lives on through stories and we're here to share them with you. Take care and I'll see you soon. I'm Bianca. See you next time. Images.